everybody. Thank you for coming to Rachel and Jackson's wedding. We're all so happy. Good morning. Um, my name is Ruby. I'm the maid of honor here. And I'm pretty sure the point of this toast is to hand over my title of best friend. But I think I am still the oldest friend here. Can't have that one, Jackson. Um, so I met Rachel 15 years ago in high school. Um, she was introduced to me through my then best friend, and I perceived her as a little bit of a threat, if I can be honest. Um, and she, being the intuitive soul that she is, sensed this, and um, her way of warming up to me was, hey, do you like taking back Sunday? <laughs> and I was all, yeah. And she's like, I'm gonna make you a pillowcase. I was like, all right. This chick's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> but who was I to judge, right? She never made me the pillowcase. But one day, Eminem's um, Square Dance came on, and the two of us happened to know every single word to that song. And from that moment on, I knew she was pretty cool. Uh, since then, Rach, you have been the number one person in my life to teach me about relationships. You have taught me how to appreciate the differences in people, how to appreciate the way that a relationship ebbs and flows, and when turbulences come along, you have taught me to trust that they will end. You have taught me to be patient and to be excited about meeting new people which, if you can remember, I did not used to be that way. Um, but most of all, you are the person who has taught me how to forgive. And I am eternally grateful to you for all the things that you have forgiven me for, all the things that you have taught me, and all the ways that you love me. And to show you my appreciation, I made you a little something that Anastasia is going to pass along there. <laughs> 30 year old style, right? You can keep that in your house. <laughs> and Jackson, to let you know how much I appreciate your appreciation of Rachel, I made you a little something to also let you know I don't perceive you as a threat. <laughs> I know how much you love me this. <laughs> Thank you all for coming tonight. Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Tim Jensen. I'm Jackson's older brother, if you don't know. Uh, I've had the great honor of being his best man here. And now I have this sort of challenging task of trying to do some justice and paying tribute to him and Rachel on uh, their wedding day. Uh, try, on top of that, I have to try and approach the high bar that he set as my best man. Uh, not to mention my dad's speech at my sister Anne's wedding. Uh, I just hope I can conjure up that sort of same contemplative sentiment that they did. Um, so we've had the good fortune in our family to be surrounded by successful, loving marriages, uh, which are certainly not only inspirational, but also such good models for us. Our grandparents, Jack and Opal Jensen, uh, they've been married for over 69 years, and, and they're... Thank you. <laughs> Their love for each other has always been incredibly palpable. Uh, our other grandparents, Dean and Martha Gibbons, were married for 55 years before, before Grandma passed away. Uh, they had six children, and they are all here tonight. Uh, and they have been here for each of their nieces and nephews' weddings because they appreciate how important these family events are. I don't know what number this is. It's six or seven, I think. Um, our parents, Mark and Mary, will have been married 40 years in September. And, and growing up, we watched them tirelessly work and create a supportive and loving home for us. Uh, our sister Anne and her husband Jared were the first to get married about us three kids. Uh, it's almost 10 years ago now. They have uh, two boys of their own, Bennett and Dexter, and they have a very loving and cooperative partnership in raising their young family. <laughs> and last but not least, Emily, my wife and I have been married for almost eight years now. Uh, 
We have a few year old son, Oscar. You might have seen him running around here, there, 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 there. there. <laughs> it's, all, it's all felt to me like what I'm here on earth to do. They give me such a feeling of purpose and joy every day, and I love them both so much. Uh, I'm very proud tonight to have a setting like this to share my feelings about it. Um, but so this is all to say to you, Jackson and Rachel, you have a great deal of experience to draw upon if you need it. Uh, it's a big, loving family at all different stages and each with their own rewards and challenges. So uh, on from that, um, what do I love about this newly married couple here? And as Rachel said last night, if you're there, Jackson is the nicest person. Why is that? Because he's kind, he's thoughtful, he's considerate. He truly cares about his friends and family and always puts forth his best effort in everything he does. Best and thorough effort. Uh, anybody have the pork tonight? I spent eight hours on that on Friday. And that was just the, that was just the Friday night. You can taste the commitment. And that's just for one dinner. Apply this towards a lifelong partnership and you imagine what that would be like. And I feel privileged to have him as my brother. Uh, growing up it felt like we were kind of figuring things out together despite our age difference which is, you know, sort of substantial at that time, doesn't really feel like anything now, but I mean, you know. Uh, I always wanted him to feel proud of me and to share as much as I could with him. Uh, it's been tough being so far away at times, but there's no one else I'd rather share a Simpsons quote or any random thought with. And Rachel, I, I guess I haven't known you that long, technically. I was, I was trying to figure this out the other day, and I was like, really? Like, like just that much? Like, it, it's not been very long uh, in the grand scheme of things, but it, it doesn't feel like it. She feels like she's been part of our family all along. She's such a lovely person, and it's been a real pleasure getting to know her. She cares for Jackson so much. She's sweet and affectionate towards him. I love seeing that. Uh, it's so beautiful to see. Um, she's laid back, and this is a nice balance for our Jensen male brand of particularness. Uh, they just fit so well together. Um, it's been incredible to see the nurturing side of Jackson's personality as well. Spending time with them has become a real highlight of our visits for me, which are not enough, but I would love to have more, <laughs> and they're always very special. They have a lovely home. Uh, they really know how to make you feel comfortable and welcome. Plus, we always go to Bavette at some point, and I usually right away, and it's the best. So thank you. Keep taking, it, taking us there. It's, it, it's Jake, you're there too most of the time. Uh, <laughs> so I just want to wish you guys all the best in your marriage and everything you do. Keep doing what you're doing, because it's clearly working. Uh, always be open and honest with each other, make decisions together as much as you're able to, and have opinion when one, an opinion when one is requested. Communication is so important, don't shy away from it. Uh, thank you everyone for coming here tonight to celebrate Jackson and Rachel. They have the sweetest friends, and I've been reveling in this love and com camaraderie you've all brought to this occasion. Unless you're like really cool, okay? Like I was there and I said, like, man, these are some cool people. And I work at an art school in Manhattan, all right? So, uh, uh, so um, I, I guess I'll do this. If you'll indulge me, I'd like to leave you with a little piece of a song I thought would be nice for the occasion. Uh, and then we can have a little toast, get on with the evening. Um, I love you both very much. In the morning sun, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you so many things. About how much I really love you. Thank you. About how much you really mean So far away, but it's so easy to see you When I'm away, I want to put my arms around you And I want to know, do you feel the same way? Cause if you do, I want to stay forever. One more time. And I want to know, do you feel the same way? Cause if you do, I want to stay forever with you. Thank you very much. Good night.